Hello and welcome to Q-Positive. This is the segment, Are You Positive? with Razimhan. In this segment, we will have a short quiz. I will ask you five short questions. Please write down your answers and we will check how many you got correct at the end of the video. So let us start with the first question. As I am a scientist, I will ask something from science. Which topic, phenomenon or discovery did Albert Einstein receive the Nobel Prize in Physics for in 1921? Second question. Which language is officially designated as the national language of India? For the third question, let us move to sports. In which country was the first international cricket match played? Fourth question. Who was the first European explorer to sail to North America? And for the fifth question, ending with some science again. What season is it on Earth when it is closest to the Sun? And now, let us check how many answers you got correct. The first question was, which discovery topic or phenomenon did Albert Einstein receive the Nobel Prize in Physics for in 1921? I asked this question because many years ago in a quiz I got it wrong myself. Perhaps some of you answered relativity or maybe is equal to mc squared because of course these are his most famous discoveries. But that is not what Einstein received his Nobel Prize for. In Einstein's miracle year of 1905, he wrote four papers in the German journal Anlander Physik. These revolutionized modern physics. One of these was about special relativity and another introduced the famous equation E is equal to mc squared. But there were two more papers, one on the photoelectric effect and the other on Brownian motion. Relativity was still quite controversial in 1921 and the Nobel Committee awarded him for his services to theoretical physics and especially for his discovery of the law of photoelectric effect. In fact, even though it is the 1921 Nobel Prize, Einstein was awarded it in 1922. What happened was that the Nobel Committee felt that none of the nominees in 1921 met Alfred Nobel's criteria for the prize. So they postponed the award for the next year and Einstein really got it in 1922 along with Niels Bohr who won the 1922 prize. And also Einstein did not attend the prize ceremony because he was traveling to the Far East and it was a German diplomat who gave this Nobel banquet speech. The second question was which language is officially designated as the national language of India? Perhaps some of you answered Hindi. Unfortunately, this is something that even our textbooks get wrong sometimes. India does not have a national language. Article 343 of the Constitution states that the official language of the Union shall be Hindi in Devanagari script. But that does not make it the national language of India. The Gujarat High Court has clarified this in 2010. There are a few more misconceptions of this form. People think that hockey is the national sport of India, but officially India has no national sport. Similarly, Mahatma Gandhi is known as the father of the nation, but this is not constitutional and there is no official notification of it. The third question was, in which country was the first international cricket match played? Not many know the answer, so most people just make the smart guess and say it because that is where the game originated. But the first ever game of international cricket actually happened in the USA. In 1844, the Canadian cricket team toured the United States. It was still the British Empire's Canadian province because Canada only received dominion status in 1867. The first international match happened in New York and Canada won by 23 runs. And you might not believe this, but the first international football match happened only 28 years later between England and Scotland in Glasgow. There are a few more googlies like this about cricket. If someone asks you which team won the first World Cup tournament in cricket, you will probably answer West Indies. The West Indies cricket team did indeed win the World Cup in 1975, but two years before that in 1973, there was the Women's World Cup and it was the English cricket team which won that. Another question on the same lines is, who was the first cricketer to score a double century in an international limited hours match? Some of you might answer Sachin Tendulkar. You might even have watched his 2010 match against South Africa. 
but the first double century in international limited hours cricket happened in 1997 by Belinda Clark of the Australian women's team against Denmark. Now the fourth question. Who was the first European explorer to sail to North America? Some of you might have answered Christopher Columbus. Columbus did indeed sail west from Europe trying to find a sea route to Asia and ended up in the Caribbean. But some five centuries before him, Norse explorers had sailed to North America. Around the year 1000 AD, Leif Erikson landed in North America. He found that the new region had forests which were excellent for timber and grapes and called it Vinland or the land of wine. The final question was, what season is it on earth when it is closest to the sun? Some of you might have intuitively answered summer, but I must admit that this is a meaningless question. All of earth does not have the same season at the same time. When it is summer in the northern hemisphere, it is winter in the south and vice versa. The earth has a slightly elliptical orbit around the sun and changes its distance over the year. But it is not this variation in distance that causes seasons, but the tilt of the earth's axis. The earth is the closest to the sun in early January, but that is when we have winter in the northern hemisphere and summer in the southern hemisphere. So. We come to the end of the quiz. How many of the answers did you get correct? Did the segment help to clear any of your misconceptions? And most importantly, did I get something wrong here? Please let us know in the comments and always make an effort to cross check any information you come across whether online or otherwise. You never know if something you hear could be false. So this is Raziman signing off until we meet again in the next edition of Are You Positive with Raziman. Stay positive. Q positive.